In recent years, photos and videos have emerged showing great apes, notably gorillas and chimpanzees, reacting to the deaths of members of their communities. Humans might interpret the reactions as mourning, but is it? One of the most interesting things about these videos is that it initiates a conversation that um, hasn't really been had that often among scientists. A research team working in Zambia has released never-before-seen video of a community of chimpanzees reacting to death in their group. A nine-year-old chimpanzee male has died in recent days. On this day, keepers at the Chimfunshi Wildlife Orphanage Trust discover the body for the first time near the refuge's fence line. This community of 43 chimps has nearly 200 acres to roam, a semi-wild area protected by the fence. The scientists, on site for regularly scheduled research, were alerted and turned on video cameras. At the time that we start recording, there are two or three individuals present, and in the next 17, 18 minutes, there are 36, 38 individuals of the 43 individuals actually at least one time visiting the body or staying very close to the body for the full 17 minutes. We see um, the chimpanzees coming together in a very small space, um, gathering around um, this body. And we haven't seen in any other time that we've been watching these chimps them all gather in such a small space um, and be so calm and quiet um, and uh, motivated to stay near each other or near the body, we can't say for sure, but they're grouping together in a way that we've never seen before. Chimps are seen gently touching the body, smelling, and observing. Many members of the community, at the time this video was recorded last fall, were suffering from a respiratory ailment, and you can actually hear several chimps coughing. A necropsy determined the nine-year-old died of pneumonia. Within about two minutes, a chimpanzee mother, whose infant daughter also died in recent days, is seen carrying her deceased daughter and stopping within a few feet of the dead nine-year-old. This chimp mother, Masia, was the subject of a study released earlier this year in the American Journal of Primatology by the same research team. Video from a previous day shows Masia and another daughter, Mary, inspecting the dead child. They were joined by other chimps. Both these videos are important because they they do force one to stop and think. People who have never really considered what chimpanzees might think about before, I imagine when they see these videos, they become interested, at least for a moment, um, in trying to figure out what might be possible in the minds of other uh, primates. One of the most interesting things about this video, I think, is that it shows the opportunity that the chimpanzees have to learn about death in their environment. And so one Striking example in the video, I think, is when um, a female um, comes around and she um, smacks on the body of the, of the dead chimp. And why she does that, we don't know. Um, but I think the interesting thing happens after um, she smacks the body, which is that the other chimps, you can see that they actually watch the body quite closely after she has hit it so hard. And in that case, they could be potentially learning uh, about how a dead body reacts differently than, than a live individual who would have just gotten hit. Most of the individuals we see are females, but there is one male who returns to the scene several times. So it, it seems as if the adult male who is visiting the body for at least four times, inspecting the body closely in between the females, uh, and also throwing a tantrum at some point. He's, he's screaming and walking over the body very rapidly. Um, he is the one who had a social, a very strong social relationship with the with Thomas, with the, the individual that died. He, he has been taking care of that individual for more than four years. The researchers would rather not presume that the chimps are mourning the death of another. I am reluctant to use that word. <laughs> Um, my colleagues might have different opinions, um, but I think um, for the most part we're reluctant to use the word because um, it doesn't seem to really give us any extra explanatory information. They behave differently as a group as in any other situation as we have seen before. 
whether we can call that mourning uh, and what that entail exactly based on what we know in humans is mourning is is just difficult to to say for anybody i would say the scientists have released this video in the hope that other researchers will see it and have the chance to videotape similar scenes it's hoped that a compilation of data and video evidence will help answer questions about our primate cousins and whether they might have similar thoughts about death to ours. <laughs>